let us imagine a chain of length l is placed on the table in such a way that 1 by n of the length is suspended freely and the remaining part of the chain is on the table now we would like to pull this part of the chain back onto the table and we would like to calculate what is the work done for this obviously as you have to displace the body back onto the table we shall do some work and we have to displace the only the portion of the chain that is hanging but if you look at the diagram you can see the portion of the chain is not having the mass at one place rather the mass is uh, distributed over the system so where is the mass of that suspended part is nothing but uh, whenever the mass is distributed we shall consider a concept called center of mass for any regular body center of mass will be at the middle of the body being the total length is at l by n the center of mass of the suspended part will be at half of that because center of mass is at the middle of that so you can visualize something like if you draw a diagram you can draw an equivalent diagram like this such that you can imagine there is a body suspended from here who is at a distance of l by 2n remaining part is on the table itself and you want to bring this up onto the table therefore we shall do some work that work done will be stored in the format of potential energy itself therefore how much is that work done we can write work done equal to nothing but the potential energy of the suspended part of the chain we know the formula for the potential energy as m g h here m is the not the mass of the entire chain but the mass of only suspended part being a one dimensional body mass is directly proportional to length that implies we can write the work done as mass of the suspended part where 1 by nth of the chain is suspended so mass of the suspended part will be total mass by the 1 by nth of the chain that part will have that much of the mass g h is the location where the center of mass is uh, available we know we have just now explained that center of mass is at a height of total length divided by 2n so we can say the total work that we need to do is mgl by 2 under n square this is the formula that we need to use to calculate the work done in lifting a portion of a chain onto the table for example if someone say one third of the chain is hanging it is not the entire chain is hanging one third of the chain is hanging to get it back onto the table to pull it back we must do some work how much work that we need to do is m into g into h mass of the suspended part being one third of the mass is suspended mass is nothing but m third one third of the chain is suspended g h is half of the center of mass of the suspended part center of mass is at l by 3 and the part the length of the suspended part is l by 3 its center of mass will be at half that's nothing but equal to 1 by 2 so the work done in this process is mgl 9 into 2 so it's nothing but equal to mgl by 18 of course this also we can be called as a potential energy of the suspended part